With the ever-increasing popularity of high-efficiency fluorescent lighting, it's more important than ever to understand best practices for lamp disposal and other hazardous waste. Fluorescent lamps contain anywhere from 5 to 50 milligrams of mercury, an essential component in the efficient production of visible light. This drop of mercury is contained inside the lamp throughout its effective life and can only be released if the lamp is broken. It is estimated that nearly 100% of the 600 million lamps sent to landfills and incinerators each year are broken, amounting to 30,000 pounds of mercury waste. The mercury vapors emitted during improper disposal are released in the air and can travel over 200 miles. Mercury and its vapor is highly toxic to the human nervous system and particularly poisonous to the kidneys. Because of its harmful effects on people and the environment, the EPA recommends recycling all spent lamps. In many states, legislation has been passed banning mercury-containing lamps from solid waste landfills. Fortunately, there are solutions available that are both cost-effective and easy to use. Lamp crushing provides a quick and storage-friendly approach to disposing spent lamps as they are collected at your facility. The EPA and OSHA-compliant bulb eater can crush a four-foot fluorescent lamp in approximately one second, saving roughly 20 hours of labor per 1,000 lamps. A safe work environment is maintained as 99.9 percent .9 of hazardous particulates and gases are captured by a three-stage filter process. Once the drum is full, it is ready to be sealed for a recycling pickup. Each drum can hold up to 1,350 crushed fluorescent lamps, typically cutting recycling costs by 50 percent or more. Scheduling a pickup is as easy as picking up the phone or logging on to aircycle.com. A dedicated recycling coordinator will work to set up a pickup date that works with your schedule. On the arranged date, a certified recycler will pick up the drum from your facility and deliver it to the recycling center for processing. When the drum reaches the recycling center, it is unloaded from the truck and tagged with a unique identifier. A forklift then transfers the drum onto a conveyor. The conveyor leads into an elevator, lifting the full drum and emptying the contents into the recycling system. Once in the system, the operating conditions meet even the toughest environmental standards. The entire process is fully automatic and contained preventing mercury from being released into the environment. Exhaust air is constantly discharged through the internal carbon filters. The phosphor powder is separated in different steps from the byproducts. The mercury-bearing powder is collected in distiller barrels beneath the cyclone and the self-cleansing dust filters. The clean glass is transferred into large storage dumpsters. Aluminum end caps are separated and stored as well. This mercury-bearing powder is then retorted to drive the mercury out of the powder. At the end of the process, the glass, metal end caps, powder, and mercury can all be reused. Once the materials have been fully processed by the recycling facility, an official certificate of recycling will be produced for record keeping. Obtaining a certificate is proof of compliance with all state and federal EPA regulations and a guaranteed way to avoid fines and enforcement actions which can easily exceed the cost of lamp recycling. Lamp recycling plays an important role in protecting the environment and achieving sustainability goals, primarily in the reuse of natural resources and responsible handling of hazardous waste. During the life cycle of a lamp, the cost to recycle is less than 1% of the cost of ownership. Implementing a lamp recycling program is a simple, affordable, and responsible objective for any facility.